Hey guys, today's video is all about chickens. All right, but first we gotta go get the puppies because they won't stop barking and they are ready to be free. So sometimes we put them up over here so that they can enjoy the weather. Hi puppies, you wanna go play? Let's go play, come on. I've got to change that name. I've got to figure out where I can get a sign. And we're planning to paint these. We are so excited to think about and start planning for chickens. So I'm here at the barn. I've got the puppies with me, and we are going to give you a tour of the chicken house. It currently is not in the best of shape, so we're gonna make it over and make it amazing, hopefully. So I wanna show you our plans. Um, yeah, just kind of show you what we're thinking for now. I'm sure plans will change along the way, but if you have any ideas or suggestions, please leave them below because we're gonna start the chicken coop build in probably a week or around that. So let me give you a little tour. But you can see the chicken coop back there. There's the barn. So it'll be good because we'll have water access there. Okay, I've got to show you guys this little tree I planted. This is a crepe myrtle. This is the variety that it is. And I'm unsure how well it's doing. Some of the leaves don't look great. So hopefully it's doing okay. But this is going to be a great shade tree. Okay, here's a quick peek at the front of the chicken coop. You can see how much taller the ceiling is in my head, so it's nice and tall, but I wanna give you some backstory. I feel like first I should give you some backstory. So for those of you who may not know, like our story, we just moved here to land about eight or nine months ago. We used to live in Bentonville, Arkansas, which was right in town. It was amazing. We were close to everything. Um, our kids rode their bikes to school. We were close to the town square, close to activities, church, like, sports things, all the things, and it was super convenient being close. But we felt like something was missing in our life. Um, a couple things. We really wanted more space for our boys to spread out. I just feel like boys need to be able to like roam and explore and play, and girls too, but I don't have any girls, so I don't think about that. Um, and so anyway, we were really wanting that for our kids. One of our sons in particular has been saving for a go-kart for like, I don't know, maybe two years. And we were like, where is he gonna drive this go-kart? We don't have any space to store it or for him to ride it. So that was kind of always in the back of our mind. And we really wanted more privacy. Like we kind of felt like we could see in our neighbor's yards. And for a long time, that's been no problem. That's been great. I love having neighbors. We've always had amazing neighbors, but we were just kind of feeling like we wanted some more privacy. So, and then I, I shared in a previous video, but about 14 years ago, we started writing down our goals. And one of the first things we ever wrote was to be able to have a house on at least five acres. We just always wanted that. And so the time was never right. Like my husband always traveled every week or we had a son in a hospital for, for a few years in and out and we needed to be like close to the hospitals. And, and so anyway, it just wasn't a good option, but now is the time and we're super excited. So we have been planning and reading and researching our favorite breeds, um, our, you know, what color eggs they lay, how to take care of them, um, all of that. So we'll be sharing all of that and talking about, you know, the financial investment of it, um, how many eggs do you actually get, um, how much feed do they eat, how to take care of them. We'll be sharing that in upcoming videos. And of course the chicken coop build. But today's video is just the plans and the future location. So let's go take a look. Okay, here you can see the front again. Now let me take you around to the other side. Okay, so this is the chicken coop. This is the back side. And this all right here is going to be a big chicken run. We're probably going to make it about 10 to 12 feet like long and then maybe like 8 feet tall. So it probably won't go all the way to the ceiling. Let me show you how big this is inside. 
So you can see we have a lot of work to do in here. There's a lot of um, damage from all the birds that used to live in here, but we're gonna fix it up, paint it, build new walls, and make it super secure so our chickens can be safe from predators. But I love how tall the ceilings are and how big it is. So we're gonna cover this up and have doors that open. We're not exactly sure exactly where everything's going, but you know, nesting boxes with handles and doors, um, an actual enclosed chicken coop inside with a like ramp that comes down so they can come down in the morning when they wake up. And then that we'll cut a door into that wall so they can go into the big giant chicken run. And then I planted that crepe myrtle so that they'd have this big flowery tree to help with some shade in the afternoon. So anyway, that's the plan. Currently it's filled with tons of mice and birds love to hang out in here and kind of nest up in there. I don't know if you can see, let me get a little closer. They love to nest up there. And if you come at the right time, they'll all just start flying out frantically. I think I'm gonna paint it white to match the house and maybe some of this like trim black. So it'll be really pretty. I'm excited, I'm nervous. I feel like chickens are a big commitment. Like if you were to get a different kind of animal, hold on, let me flip this around. Like if I were to get a different kind of animal, like pigs or I don't know, something like that, you just have it for a few months in the season and then you um, have them processed and then you're done. So it's like if that animal doesn't work out, it's not like this huge long-term commitment, but chickens, you're in it. And like we're building them a big giant nice coop and we wanna get eggs for a long time. So it makes me a little nervous. It's a big commitment but um, I think some of these branches will be good in the chicken run for them to like climb on and stuff. And um, I've seen like cute things like chicken swings and we wanna make homemade feeders that are more auto feeders. And everyone keeps telling me we need to get an automatic chicken door. So let me know how you feel about it and um, if you have any other ideas, cause seriously, we are such newbies and I'm sure we'll get it all built and think everything's perfect and we'll probably realize there's a lot that we should have done differently. But that's just kind of how projects go. So anyway, that's the plans for the chicken coop and I'm so excited, let me show you. I'm so excited to walk from the back of the house up here to this chicken coop and we tried to plant um, 60 arborvitae trees along this fence line and they canceled the order because of COVID. So hopefully we can get those up, but um, I'd eventually love like a sidewalk that came all the way up and met the chicken coop, just so it kind of all feels like it's meant to be together. And you can kind of see the garden box. I'll be showing you that in another video, but a whole beautiful garden is gonna be over there with tons of flowers and hopefully some food. So anyway, it's coming along. We're super excited. We can't wait to get the chicken coop built. And I kind of wanted to record this video so we could see a good before footage um, before it's all built. So super excited. And Rex will be so excited to chase some chickens around. Um, we don't really let him chase them, but he can come sniff them around and see them. It'll be fun. It's just fun to add life to your property. This is hopefully the first of many more animals to bring onto the property and other cool things too, hopefully. So it's kind of fun when you have a blank slate and you can just make it anything you want. So we're really excited. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any suggestions of chicken coop ideas and yeah, tag me in other chicken videos that you've watched that you really like or other Instagram accounts where they talk a lot about chickens. I would love to have all the resources. <laughs> so send them my way. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support on all previous videos and hopefully I can post more now that the kids are in school. So, okay, see you later. We feel an immense gratitude that our kids get to grow up on a farm. We are excited that they get to learn how to take care of another living thing besides themselves, that they can learn about the circle of life and learn where their food actually comes from. We have just been blown away by the amount of love that we feel for the current animals we've already brought here. And we really hope that in the future we can bring more animals and more children to live this beautiful life here on this land.